Yeah. yeah? Right? Yes. Oh, deal? Boing. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. Welcome to the Acquia Podcast, Drupal Technology, Community and Business. There's a module for that? There, of course there is. We are at the United Nations on the last day of NYC Camp 2014. Yep. A great open source event that uh, this year has focused a lot on Drupal contribution, getting Drupal 8 out the door. How have the sprints been going so far? The sprints have been great. Uh, I've met several people uh, looking to work on things. Uh, we got them very interesting tasks. We've been able to mentor them, move forward on things. And today is, is the sprint day where there's nothing else but sprints, so we can focus on working on those things that, um, that move Drupal 8 forward. And, um, and we are working on beta blockers that should get the beta out soon and making really good progress on solving, solving the hard problems uh, that are remaining in Drupal 8. I think it's incredibly exciting to be uh, at the, you know, in the location where the United Nations, this organization that is trying to do good in the world, um, it's inspiring for us as open source practitioners because I think very, very many of us have the same ideals. We want to make a difference. And the CITO of the UN gave a challenging keynote address to us to the conference yesterday about thinking about the consequences of our choices now and how technology could help affect positive change in the world. And you and I were talking earlier, several of us have been thinking, what are doable, what are actionable things? How could Drupal, maybe Drupal 8 specifically, how could we start to make a difference in the world? Have you, have you, have you come up with any... Uh, yeah, so I'm actually leading the Drupal 8 multilingual initiative. And, uh, and the primary goal of our initiative is to make it seamless and very easy to, to get Drupal to any culture around the globe. Uh, not just, it's called a multilingual initiative. It's in part about having, having uh, capabilities to handle multiple languages. It's also in part about having capabilities to handle any language in Drupal. Um, and we, I think we are succeeding in making that very easy to do now in Drupal 8. I think that should contribute a lot to, um, to um, making it very simple for anyone to set up a site in Drupal 8, whatever their language is. Right, and Drupal's always been about giving anyone who can set up a site a voice to communicate what they need to to build their own community, right? So the ability to do that without having to install the site in English, right, is potentially hugely empowering. Yes, indeed, indeed. So what we achieved in Drupal 8 is right out of the gate, your first screen in the installer just asks for your language. And from there on, the whole thing is in your language. If you're if you write right to left, then it will be right to left from the second screen on, and it will be uh, it will be a very familiar environment. You can understand what's going on. I was just in Seged, Hungary, where you and a team of volunteers organized the Drupal Developer Days 2014. Thank you for doing that. I was blown away by that event. Talk about, do you feel it was a success? I think it was, yes. yes. Talk a little bit about what was going on there and how much, how much energy there was. Yeah, so the Drupal Dev Days is a traveling event around Europe that's been at several places before. Last it was in Dublin, before that it was in Barcelona, etc. So it has a, has a few years of history. And the main focus of the event is get together uh, Drupal developers and site builders, so those who, those who make Drupal happen and who use Drupal to build things. And uh, it's a really powerful combination of, of the big names in the Drupal community meeting those using the software very closely. And it grown out from a few days of event from previous years to be a full week event. So this year we started on Monday and we ended Sunday night basically and um, most people were there for the whole week which kind of uh, kind of blew out all our expectations in the initial planning we thought there will be like 20 or 30 people on Monday based on previous event experiences 
and we've been sprinting in the first three days. We haven't really had any sessions or anything like formally announced that's going on. And instead, we've had like 150 people coming in on Monday, which was totally unexpected. We were like scrambling on the last two weeks to organize food for everyone and like have to write rooms and everything to be in place. So to enable it to be a success. Yeah. So this this is a sprint focused event. This yes. is this is a this is a week focused on building Drupal together and right out of the gate 150 people were there how many came then in in total during the week do you know uh it was a 320 people coming um at the height of the event right um so there's a lot of people who come for sessions i think this time um a lot realized that that there's a lot more value uh in some of the sprints as well so they can come in and they can sit down with the names and with big names in the drupal community and you can work with them, you can see how they work, you can see how they solve problems, and you can learn a lot from just that, not not from a formal session, but from just yeah. working together with them. And a lot of people got, um, got that opportunity, and um, so we could uh, mentor a lot of new contributors in Drupal 8. We've had several people coming in on Monday who never contributed to Drupal 8. Uh, one of the biggest names in Hungary tweeted that he w he's using Drupal for 10 years now and he never had a core mention or core commit mention. And now he became a real Drupaler by having a core commit mention at Saget due to solving issues. Fantastic. There were yeah. so many patches flowing in to Drupal.org at some point during the week that the infrastructure thought it was a denial of service attack. Yes. Right. Yeah, we've had we've had people working on Drupal.org itself on developer side, so that used a lot of network on Drupal.org, and we've had people installing Drupal 8, checking it out from Git. We've had people updating Git repositories, and we've had so much bandwidth. We've been using it once that we uh, that we used up all the bandwidth available on Drupal.org, and we need to uh, wake up Rudy in uh, in the U.S. to fix the settings so that we can use Drupal.org again. And there were people working on every every aspect. Um, of, uh, of the project, I mean, I noticed just the the people who who run the test bot, the testing infrastructure were working very hard. Drupal.org itself, which is kind of a new thing to be sprinting on the site, and they um, got a beta version of a fully responsive site, yes. uh, a theme for Drupal.org out the door, plus theme layer people, plus Drupal 8 core developers. Um, your particular, was there much uh, multilingual work going on? Yours is pretty far advanced, right? Yes, there was a lot of multilingual work yeah. going on. So we've had a multilingual meeting on Wednesday, which is usually every two weeks on Wednesdays. Uh, we're now changing it to every week. Uh, and, and now it was at the time in person in Seged, and we've had around 30 people attending the meeting who were working on multilingual issues. Um, and we, we've been talking about what are we working on, where people need help. It was a lot of energy and excitement um, yeah. in the sprint. Yeah, and Drupal 8 has now, um, as of this weekend in April 2014, is uh, today we're at 2,011 contributors to Drupal yeah. 8. It would be really romantic to think that we hit 2,000 in that week in Seged. I don't know if it really happened then. Yeah, maybe we should check, yes. <laughs> so from your perspective as one of the event organizers, how would you describe the energy in the Drupal community right now? I think it's amazing. So what we've seen at the sprints, uh, people were, were coming in. We've had the rooms open from 9 a.m. to midnight, people working all the time, coming in and going and just solving problems, self-organizing into groups. It was really amazing to see. I wasn't there that night, but I heard the story that somebody ordered 70 pizzas to a sprint room. Yes, yeah, yeah, it was around half a ton of pizza, I think, yeah, that they ordered in. <laughs> that was pretty amazing, yes. Drupal dev days, turning pizza into code. Yes, indeed, indeed, <laughs> indeed. Oh, yeah, that's really great news. So it was an amazing event. Thank you for that. Um, thank you for all your work here, and, um, you know, thanks, I guess, on everyone's behalf to your multilingual team especially. Thank you. And for taking the time to talk with me. Thank you. Thanks, Gabor.